Good morning, everybody. And thank you, Saif, for the introduction. Thanks for introducing me as a guest, although we are all the host here. Uh, it feels good to be called a guest. Before we begin, some interesting stats, because I like to begin with stats but not bore you with too many. $94 billion. Can anybody guess what that is? That's actually where the blockchain industry is projected to reach by 2027 at a CAGR of 66.2% compared to 2022. And $3.1 trillion is the expected business value that will come out of blockchain technology and the blockchain industry by 2030. A lot of the countries have their vision 2030, strategy 2030, et cetera, and blockchain seems to be having its own 2030 numbers as well. Why these numbers? Because I think we all know as blockchain technology professionals or emerging technology professionals or people that belong to this domain that there is now an, a significant surge in adoption of blockchain. And that adoption is being driven by a lot of the enterprises, a lot of the government organizations embracing blockchain with real world use cases. Banking and financial institutions were of course amongst the, the first ones, but now you see healthcare, you see real estate, retail, governments, including ministries and services, blockchains being used in logistics, shipping, port supply, so on and so forth. So what when we started the blockchain summit seven to eight years ago, what people thought blockchain as just cryptocurrency is no longer the case and there's a massive awareness about blockchain. Decentralized finance as a concept back then, but as a reality today, fast forward and you see that countries are embracing, people are embracing also cryptos and digital assets as a means to transact and it's becoming real. People are buying houses and cars and paying school rent, so on and so forth, thanks to the, the DeFi revolution that has actually become a reality. Emerging technologies, not just blockchain, but stuff like artificial intelligence, internet of things, real data analytics, machine learning, all of them are now really converging. What was being dealt with in silos is now actually being dealt with collectively and that obviously amplifies the need, the demand, the acceptance for blockchain. Regulatory landscape around us is shifting. Many years ago when governments, particularly like regulators, be it the technology regulators or the central banks or just governments in general, were not necessarily so welcoming of blockchain. Again, because of not too much awareness around this space, are now actually sitting and charting lots and lots of strategies, their future vision, trying to integrate different governments, coming up with friendly regulations, which actually helps encourage the development of the blockchain industry as a whole, so there are more new businesses coming in, investment flowing, partnerships being struck, jobs being created, students and youngsters being prepared for the real future. And real world tokenization of assets and NFTs, digital assets, so on and so forth, of course it goes without saying because when all these things are happening, that definitely tends to happen as well. So these are just some of the trends that we see globally and there's one leader that has been doing all these things, not recently, but from a very long time. That's the Emirate of Dubai that we are all currently here in. Last week is an exception, but generally Dubai is a very different place, a vibrant, thriving country, a thriving city, an amazing culture here. And in fact, I will put this on stage. There was rains last week, but in a matter of a day or two, you saw the city actually come back to life. And today we're all here as if nothing happened last week. That's the pace at which Dubai operates. That's the vision that the leadership here has for the Emirate and of course, therefore, for the country, UAE as well. Dubai means opportunities and you see lots and lots of developments happening, right? You have the new Dubai AI Web3 campus that was launched recently. You have WARA, the Virtual Assets Regulatory Authority that came up many months ago. Dubai blockchain strategy was launched very early for the government and there are lots of reports which say that in the Middle East region or Middle East and North African region, Dubai boasts more than 50% of 
Web3 and blockchain company registrations. So people are using, we all are using this place as our house and as our hub. So it was only natural that we would launch the World Blockchain Summit here in Dubai many years ago. And as Saif was mentioning earlier, we've traveled around the world, gone to more than 11 countries. All the different names are mentioned there. And we're back to the 29th edition of the World Global Blockchain Summit. I want to welcome you all officially on behalf of our company, Trescon, to the 29th edition of the World Blockchain Summit. Thank you for supporting us. Thank you for being with us. For those of you that have been part of our journey, you make World Blockchain Summit happen here in Dubai and in a lot of other places. Over the course of the next two days, you can expect 2,000 plus participants, which is a combination of delegates, investors, media partners, speakers, sponsors and exhibitors that are showcasing out there, and a lot more. We have about 300 plus investors. We also have a pitch competition, which has now become like a, you know, not the cherry on top of the cake, but actually part of the cake. Every time we host the Blockchain Summit, we encourage the startup ecosystem. We also connect them with investors and we expose them through the pitch competition to the wider audience. So one, they can get funding. Two, they can get real world feedback. Three, they can have collaboration ongoing. Four, they can also understand other things that's happening in the market. We've got 50 plus speakers, an amazing lineup, and of course, a lot of our partners that are showcasing blockchain uh, solutions, projects, real world use cases. So I encourage you all to please make the most of uh, the next two days. That's a snapshot of the attendees' profile. So you will find enterprises. You'll see majority of them are founders, CEOs, and in the C-suite. That shows acceptance, intent, willingness, but most importantly, necessity for blockchain to be driven from the top, not just by tech folks. And from an investment standpoint as well, you will see that we've got different uh, types of, you know, we've got a few private equity firms, we've got uh, family offices who are also now embracing this, we've got lots of emerging uh, angel investors as well, but trying to expand their ticket sizes, and there's a snapshot of how much they're willing to spend. So this was actually a survey that was done leading up to the summit with you all, people that are here in the room that are outside and those that will be coming in. And the stats, the numbers are actually quite promising. In terms of the next two days agenda, we've got a power packed lineup. We've got friends like Frederick from Cardano, Mohammed Al Belushi from the IFC Innovation Hub. We've got Sergey Nazrov. So you see, you've got on one side the platforms, you've got investors, you've got the government, you've got innovation hubs and accelerators, you've got friends that actually drive the blockchain ecosystem globally, convening here to talk about the future of blockchain and how we work together in making that a more, most meaningful affair. All the details of the agenda and the sessions are in the mobile app, that, uh, the video that was played earlier. Thanks to our partners, the DIFC Innovation Hub, AI Web3 Campus that was recently launched, our co-host uh, Sun Mini Meal, uh, our after-party sponsor Flockspay. So for those of you that don't know, uh, if you have a VIP access, you also have direct access to the after-party that's happening tomorrow, so you can ask our team for more details. And all our other sponsors and partners for actually making the World Blockchain Summit, one of the thriving communities, mirroring the sentiments, mirroring the image of Dubai in our own way as a very small little community. So what can you expect the next two days here at the World Blockchain Summit? Deeper content, broader horizons, and you can challenge our speakers that will be here on the stage, presenting to you, discussing, debating, having fireside chats, ask them as many questions as you wish to. Lots and lots of networking opportunities, which of course, is one of the fundamental objectives of events like these, to facilitate introductions between people. You've got sponsors, speakers, and lots of insights coming, not just here on the stage, but also off the stage. You've got projects that are being showcased. You have investors that are around here. Today I'm an investor, tomorrow I might be a project holder, so it's good for us to get an understanding and feel the pulse of what's happening around us. After party, I talked about it, and there's a lot more. There's a treasure hunt that's going on. There's media out there that's collecting bites. So feel free 
to make this as your own. There are no rules. This is the blockchain community. We play by the rules of innovation, and innovation has no boundaries. So let's make the most of it. Blockchain Summit is, the World Blockchain Summit is brought to you by Trescon. For those of you that are not too familiar with Trescon, I hope you all are, but if you're not, we've been in the business since 2016. And our four main divisions, which is the future tech events, managed events, bespoke events, and education and training, are all focused on helping the world embrace emerging technologies in a sustainable and inclusive manner. How do we do that? Number one, we put together summits like these where we bring the whole ecosystem together. Number two, we partner with government entities such as our friends at the Dubai International Financial Center in enabling their vision in bringing their own communities together. Number three, we also invest in a few emerging technology companies. We've done so We've invested in an esports and gaming company, in a fintech company recently, in a smart meter data management company. Unlike traditional investors that might have deep pockets and write big checks, we don't. We start very, very early, but we are doing our own bits. And we also have our own Trescon Foundation, which is focused on social impact in India, where we're trying to transform several government-run schools in becoming neat infrastructure and digitally equipped classrooms so teaching and learning becomes fun. But more about Trescon later on when you catch up with us at uh, one of the breaks. I want to welcome you all to the World Blockchain Summit once again and tell you what's after the World Blockchain Summit. There's a lot that's happening this year, but there are three things that I want to emphasize on. And number one is the Dubai FinTech Summit, which is happening on the 6th and 7th of May, organized by Dubai International Financial Center. Let's just have a quick snapshot of what the Dubai FinTech Summit means to all of us. plus people, 300 plus speakers, 200 plus sponsors, partners, and exhibitors convening at Madinat Jumeirah. The Dubai FinTech Summit is going to truly pioneer the future of FinTech, and blockchain is now being discussed. The DFI, the CBDCs, etc., cetera, as, as enablers of FinTech. So I encourage you all to go to www.dubaifintechsummit.com to learn more. And as participants of this summit, you have a 15% uh, discount on any category of the past that you want to purchase or if you want to exhibit. The Dubai AI Web3 Festival, which is one of the newest initiatives launched by the Dubai AI and Web3 campus in partnership with DIFC and the Office of the Minister of AI, Future Technology and Remote Workplace is happening on 11th and 12th of September. Let's just see a quick snapshot of what that holds for us. One of its kind, the first AI and Web3 gathering, where focus is on innovation, focus is on convergence of what was called the traditional AI and the future Web3, which is all now on the same level playing field. Again, use cases, real world, not fluffy, flaky, bubblish, but going as deep as we can. underlying technologies as well, robotics, Internet of Things, industrial Internet of Things, and a lot more at the Dubai AI and Web3 Festival, which is on 11th and 12th of September. Again, you can Google about it. The goal of the Dubai AI Web3 Festival is to enable digital economies. And that's not possible without all of us participating. Last but not the least, because this is the Blockchain Summit, of course, the next edition of the Blockchain Summit will be in Singapore on 11th and 12th of November, and I'm pretty sure that we'll be seeing a lot of you there. With that, I want to end my monologue, not bore you and allow others to come on the stage as well. I want to leave you all with one question. What is the future of your economy, digital or physical? 
Now, this is an obvious question with an obvious answer. In the next two days, we will be talking about this and more. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much, and welcome to the World Blockchain Summit.